Hey, third grid. Today you're going to get back your plastic sheet that we started last time. You're also going to get another map. When Before you go to put this one in today, you need to open it up and figure out which side you worked on last time. Right? So we can see that when I open this up, the color's on this side. So I want to flip it over and work on the back side of my plastic this time because it doesn't matter because it's see-through. So even if it's on the back, it'll be fine. So I'm opening that up, carefully sliding my map in. You might have some trouble getting it in. I keep missing this. And we're going to continue doing what we did last class, carefully coloring in parts of that map using different colors. Right? So when you get your map in, you shouldn't see any color on it because this is what you did last time. Use lots of different colors, fill in parts of that map. You can do the roofs of buildings, you can do the sides of buildings, you can do roads. Right, really use lots of different colors. Fill that up. You're pretty much going to work the entire class again, filling this up with all different sorts of colors and shapes. One thing I forgot to mention is please be careful when you're coloring. I would not go setting your hand on a spot that you just got done coloring. You can see that I accidentally put my hand in this red spot and then it ended up leaving a few marks on my paper. Right? At the end of class, we're going to once again take that map out. Please put it back in the correct spot. You can see mine was of Berlin, so I'm going to put it back in the box that says Berlin. You can see how this is starting to build up all those shapes. All right, we're getting different layers and overlapping. We're going to do one more day next class of adding some more of these shapes and colors. All right.